Topic 9, factorising. When we factorise, we look for the highest common factor, the highest number or highest letter in terms of how many letters go into both of these numbers. So the first one is 6x plus 9. So the highest number that goes into 6 and 9 is a 3. So when I'm putting 3, I'm dividing both of them terms by 3. So I ask myself then, how many 3s in 6x? And the answer is 2x. And then how many 3s in 9? Three. If I'm looking at the second one, I'm asking myself, what's the highest number that goes into 12 and 15? And the highest number that goes into both of them is 3 again. And I'm saying, how many 3's in 12x? 4x. How many 3's in 15? 5. The next one, what's the highest number that goes into 18 and 24? And the answer is 6. So I'm taking out, how many 6's in 18x? 3x. How many 6's in 24? 4. The next one, I've got x squared and the 5x. 1 is the highest number now, but there's also an x in both of them. So I can take an x out of both of them. And when I'm taking the x out, I'm saying, how many x is in x squared? x squared means x multiplied by x. So I'm still left with an x. And how many x is in 5x? I've taken the x out, so I'm left with a 5. And the last one, a similar method, there's, the one is the highest number that goes into them, so I'm going to have to take x out as a common factor. How many x is in x squared? x. How many x is in minus 12? The answer is minus 12.